Hello, you lovely people. Welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I am Penge, and this is going to be a quick Project High Rise tutorial video. And I'm going to show you how you can take a unit that specifically has to be built on top of the tower and build it anywhere in your tower. So here's a tower I made earlier, and this is a good case in point. These two units here are medium rooftop restaurants. They are very good things to build. They are a bar, which people like. Everyone loves a bar in Project High Rise. They're quite lucrative, they look good, and yeah, they're generally good things to have in your tower if you can fit them in. However, they always have to be at the top of the tower. As you can see, my ones are not at the top of the tower. My ones are in the middle of the tower. The top of the tower is some way off up there. The requirements for building a medium rooftop restaurant do say must be placed on top floor with nothing above it. This is not the top floor and there is stuff above it. And I'm just going to show you how you can actually achieve this because it is quite handy to be able to place the medium rooftop restaurants and indeed the large rooftop restaurants if you can do it at various places throughout your tower rather than having to just sort of build two or three at the top. You could have several of these at different stages as you go up the tower. And yeah, it's quite good because they are very, very lucrative things to have in your tower. So here we go. This is a good example of what we're going to do. Just here on this floor, we might want to have some restaurants. We might want a medium rooftop restaurant and a large rooftop restaurant. However, we don't want to stop building. We want to keep the tower going up and up and up, up to floor 60 or whatever. So we don't want this to be the top of our tower. So we need to make sure that we can carry on building above these rooftop restaurants. If we put a medium rooftop restaurant in, like so, that's fine. We shall pause time for a second. If you build across the top of it, it lets you build across this bit, because it has a ceiling, the kitchen bit, presumably, of the medium rooftop restaurant. However, it won't let you build floor pieces above the outside bit of the restaurant. It just doesn't let you. You can't do it. There's nothing underneath it to, to build upon and you can't do it. You also can't use the uh, floor extending bit either. It just does not let you do that. So what we want to do to get around this, if we demolish that just there, we want to build another floor. We want to build a floor like this going all the way across. And then we want to build another floor. So I kind of had some of this already prepared anyway with the lifts and such like. So the builder people can get in. And now... We don't even have to have them build this floor here. We can immediately take this floor out. Now, please take note. If you're an engineer or a person that's a physicist or someone that believes in gravity, this may cause offence. Because this is where it gets a bit silly. You can then take these floors out. You can just take them out. They don't even have to be constructed by your builder guys. They can just be taken straight out. Now, the game considers this to be a top. This is a top of a building and there is nothing above it for one floor. So that floor is empty. So it considers this to be the top of the tower. So now, if we do this, we could put in a medium restaurant and a large rooftop restaurant, like so. And they can actually go in, and if we pick some stuff to build, I'll have to wire them up as well. Yeah, if we just pick anything, you and you, that'll do. Two things in, give them all the power and stuff they need, but whatever, you get the idea. As long as they're sort of powered and wired up, you can then build like this, the rest of the tower can then continue on up here like this. So you can carry on building your tower onward and upward. And let's say you wanted to do that again on this floor. Let's pause time again because I'll be complaining. If you want to build it another one of those just here, say. Let's just build another floor on top of there. You could then just do exactly the same thing and just take out those rows like that. And then you could drop in, once those floors have been created by your builder people, you could drop in another one of those. And another one of those if you had the uh, right amount available. So that's it really. It, it does require a slight suspension in the belief of physics and engineering. Because I'm not entirely sure that a tower could work like that. Could you have this entire mass of tower with you know pipes and shops and glass and people and buildings and everything. Metal, concrete, whatever it is literally suspended off of the lift shaft essentially in this example i don't know if you could but that is how you get to build units that seemingly have to build on top of the tower at other places in your tower that are not the top so i hope that was useful in some way again they are quite good i know you can only have two of these and they do like the view to be at the top but you could have one of these big large uh, rooftop restaurants in the middle of your tower to draw some people in and then stick one on the very top on the roof if you wanted to 
And um, yeah, the little ones as well, well, the medium rooftop restaurants are also quite good. They are good money spinners and they are bars and people do like that. If you found that useful, please leave a like on the video. And if you want more Project High Rise content, head over to the Geek Cupboard. We've got a couple of challenge runs of both regular Project High Rise and also the Las Vegas DLC. We've got other DLC content and we've got a tutorial and there will be more Project High Rise on the channel in the future, I am certain. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. He's gone down the lifts even though they're not built. The lifts aren't finished. People, people, this is very dangerous. Martin said it's fine and gave me a negative review. You silly man, Martin. You've clicked the wrong button. It looked like he had no trousers on, which was a little bit strange. Oh, Linda, with your gleaming golden words of appreciation. Linda says, eh, okay, hotel. <laughs>